싫어하는 애는 옛날부터 되게 성격이 강했어 강했어 성격이 엄청 강했고 어, 맞아 뭐 싸움도 자주 있었고 그러니까 성격이 세다 보니까 이게 막 여러 가지 부딪히는 게 많았지 부딪히는 게 많았죠 겉에서 볼 때는 되게 사람들이 볼 때는 아, 이, 새끼, 이 새끼 양아치 때막 세게 보인다 이럴 수 있는데 진짜 알고 보면 좀 다른 느낌? 음. 진짜 아는 사람들은 좀 진짜 다른 진짜 아는 사람 When you first meet him, you're gonna be like, this dude's a piece of trash <laughs> But then when you get to know him, he really, he's like a genuine person And he's always looking out Oh, he'll motivate you no matter what. Like, the good person will be able to do it. The good person will be able to do it. The good person will be able to do it. The good person will be able to do it. The good person will be The more I worked with him, I began to realize and understand his style of music that he was really trying to bring and his style is so unorthodox and like you, have, you can't really find that nowhere When Foggy first started doing music uh, he was just trying to like see how it goes and everything just playing with it but uh, after he started fucking around with it more going to different studios and cranking out more songs he started seeing a lot of progress and like really fast too you know he's only been doing music for like not even a year I think he's very easy to work with. All the tracks we've recorded, we've pretty much done everything under like five takes. This album, Fairfax album, is a very different style of music. This album is a deep album. It's a very deep drill. This album, Fairfax album, is a very deep feel. It's a very deep feel. 형의 캐릭터 모든 모습이 담겨진 그런 앨범 같아요. Some people might not understand, but if you really dive deeper into the music and really understand what Yoshi's trying to say in this, then um, I feel like you guys will enjoy the album a lot more. 가사를 좀더 집중적으로 들어보시면 되게 디테일적으로 요 묘사하는 내용들이 많기 때문에. This album is super different from Yoshi. It shows a lot of different sides of his music. I think it's a good album that showcases Yoshi's full potential, I think. It's the next step.